Right. The Pet Potato by Josh Lacey. Josh Lacey is the? Yes, Good sign, Liam. He wrote the words, so he's the? Author. Author. Yes, Tiana and Liam. Uh, and Momoko Abe. Momoko Abe is the? Uh-oh. Illustrator. Okay. I can see, sweetheart. It's okay. Can I take a flip? In just a moment. We'll tend to your pasta. Albert is desperate for a pet, so he's really excited when Dad finally brings one home. There's just one problem. It's a potato! <laughs> Liam, did you think they were going to say it's a potato? <laughs> right, yes, I didn't think there was going to be a potato in this either. Let's see. I mean, it does say the pet potato, but still. Right, it says, For Esther, I promised you a puppy, and you're still waiting. I'm sorry. Will you accept this book instead? And that's by Josh Lacey. And says, for Eunice, my wonderful agent. And agents, as we said, are people who can help you find work. Certain jobs and professions need them more than others. Right, let's see. Ooh, this is an interesting first page. All Albert wanted was a pet. But his mum and dad always said no. They said, we're too busy for a dog. Daddy is a bit tied up by a dog right now, look. I'm busy looking at the time. Albert's trying to show a bunny. About to fall over, yes, exactly. Well, Daddy does have three dogs. It's a bit much. And this bunny's, and the dog is running away from the dog. And the bunny's running away from the dog. Ah, yes, the dog is trying to catch this bunny. And here we've got Mummy holding a cat. Look, it says, they said, cats make Mum sneeze. Achoo! They said, rabbits need a big garden. They said, of course we can't have a giraffe. Don't be silly. No. The giraffe is looking a bit sad. Oh my, it's a bit tricky, isn't it? Right, let's see here. There's Albert. Albert never gave up. There was nothing else he wanted for Christmas or his birthday. Oh, look, he just wants a pet. Morning and evening, he begged his parents for a pet. It's the only thing on his mind, isn't it? He's begging mummy. Yes, he's trying everything. Mommy. Hamster, tortoise, fish, pig. Trying every animal. I think he's not too fussed what the animal is right now. He just wants a pet. Until one day Dad called him over and said, I have a present for you. It was a small parcel wrapped up in blue paper and tied with a piece of ribbon. What's this? Albert said. There's only one way to find out, Dad said. What way is it to find out, Neil? Open. Open it. And what do you think is going to be inside? A potato. <laughs> a potato. Let's see if you're right. Oh, look, yes. Albert opened the parcel and inside he found a potato. How do you think he's feeling? Happy. Happy? He looks a bit confused and perhaps a bit cross to me, but I think he's going to make the best of it. What do you think? Look. You wanted a pet, Dad said. There you go. That is not a pet, Albert said. That is a potato. It's a pet potato, Dad said. Dad made jokes like that all the time. Albert had learned to ignore them. He put the potato away and forgot about it. Oh, it's got a sad looking face on it, look. No, oh, he's forgotten about it. Potatoes can't look sad or lonely. But somehow this one did. <gasps> it is looking sad and lonely. How is that happening? Mm. Albert laid out his train tracks. He likes trains like you, Liam. When he had finished, the potato went for a ride <laughs> in one of the carriages. That's and funny. look, it's a happy potato now. It's very funny. It is funny how it's having feelings, isn't it? Albert built a tower with a room at the top. From there, the potato could see for miles around. It looks very surprised as well. Mmm, Liam. This potato might be magical. Albert took the potato to the playground. It swung on the swings, look. And rolled down the slide. Whee! And went round and round and round the roundabout. Oh my. And there we go round. You like going round the merry... We, some call it roundabout, we call it merry-go-round. That's right. I like roundabout. You like both? <laughs> Mickey wanted to use the potato as a football. But Albert said no. 
That wouldn't be nice. See, he was about to kick the potato. Albert takes it quickly before Mickey can kick it. He picks it up. Yes. And Tiana, you said you like to call this a roundabout. Neem, what do you like to call this? What? You don't like you don't like what Mickey's doing. Yes, yeah. you're right. It's unkind. It's not a football. It's not a football. Potatoes aren't allowed in swimming pools, so it had to stay with Mum while Albert had his lesson. There's the potato looking quite cool, sitting next to Mum. When they went to the library, Albert and the potato took turns to choose. For some reason, the potato particularly liked books about pirates. Oh, it likes books about pirates, Neem. That looks like Elmer there, doesn't it? Elmer the elephant. Yes. Look. That is Elmer. It is Elmer, yes. You see, look. Look how many books they borrowed. They've, they've taken so many of them down, borrowed them, and they're reading some. When Albert had his bath, the potato sat on the edge of the tub. Look, Neil. What if he fell in? Well, what do you think Albert's there for? Catching it. Yes, I think Albert's going to catch him if he falls in. It looks like he's about to fall backwards. <laughs> it does. And Albert's got his hands ready, though. He, they're, they're not wet, they're dry. Well, I think it's okay if the potato gets wet. Will, it, will, it, will the wetness affect the potato? It might sink and Sinking drown. in the tub could be a problem, It might yes. sink and drown and choke and splatter. Yes, but being held by wet hands? That's okay. That, I think, would be okay. <laughs> Lots of splashes coming out. After bath time, it listened to his stories. Look, <laughs> they're reading together, <laughs> like we are. That night, the potato slept on his pillow. Ooh. I want to see the football one. On Sunday one. morning, one moment, and, honey, the I'm potato done. disappeared. Okay, let's go back to the page now. As we said, the potato disappeared. Albert searched his room, but it was nowhere to be seen. <gasps> Where's it gone? It wasn't playing with the trains or up in the tower. Maybe it could walk. Maybe. It might have gone for a walk. There you go, Tiana. Or down to the shop to buy some milk. But potatoes can't really do that, can they? <gasps> well, his potatoes doing a lot of things potatoes can't normally do. He found his potato in the rubbish. Put it back, please, Mum said. Albert refused. You can't throw him away. It's smelly and mouldy, Mum said. It's going green. I don't want that thing in my house. Dad dug a hole. Albert put his potato in the ground. Oh, Grandma. They covered him up. They said goodbye. Oh, look. Bye-bye, potato. He is feeling sad. And look, he's still looking out, missing his potato. And Dad and Mum are feeling a bit There's sad too now. There. Let's see. There's a bit of a mound, isn't there? A bit of a small mound. Mound of dirt. Mum and Dad sat down with Albert for a serious talk. You were so good at looking after the potato, Mum said. We think you're ready for a real pet, Dad said. We're going to get you a hamster. But Albert didn't want a hamster. Nor did he want a dog, a cat, a rabbit or even a giraffe. He can't have a cat. He wanted his own pet back. His beautiful, perfect pet. I think there will be another one. I think so. Let's see what will happen. After a couple of weeks, a little shoot appeared. <gasps> Look. The shoot grew leaves. Oh, it's getting bigger. Dad gave... Oh, I think it's this way. Every day the leaves were bigger. Can you see? And flowers. Like and that. flowers too, yes. First there were buds, then there were flowers. flowers. Dad oh gave God. the fork to Albert. Albert dug and dug until he found all the potatoes. Oh, the happy Look, smiling. Ian, there's more than one. And they're happy and smiling. Well, they're waking up, actually. Look now. Now everybody has a He's lot. giving, yes, there were enough for everyone. Yes, yes, is that his? He's no, giving he a potato to everyone, look. A potato. A potato pet for everyone. Even the postman got one. He doesn't really want one. He's saying, how? I don't want one. Well, he's going to realise how magical they can be. Look at how much fun they're all having with the potato pets. Look, they can skateboard. There you go. Look, hula. Wow! Look, Wasn't that an interesting okay? story? Is that one okay? I think so. He's he's playing throw and catch with this one. this one. That one's hiding. I think playing hide and seek. Or maybe trying to go under. It looks a bit surprised trying to go under the tyre. Or uh, hiding under the tyre because he's hopping over its head. Oh my. He's definitely not the best. He's not the kindest owner. 
He doesn't seem particularly kind. I know who uh, this is. Who is it? Is it Mickey? Do you think it's Mickey? No, I know who this is. Can you find us the page and see who it is? That's yes, weird. that's Mickey. Oh, that's yes. Mickey. That's Mickey. That's Mickey. That's, that's Mickey. That's why he's jumping over his potato. Exactly.